Hello and thank you for joining us on Grand Sumo Highlights. It's day one of the May tournament at the Ryogo Kokuikan in Tokyo. The chairman of the Japan Sumo Association, Hakkaku Oyakata, begins with an opening speech to welcome the fans along with the higher rankers, including the winner of the March tournament, Yokozuna Kakuryu, and Yokozuna Hakuho, back in action to declare his 41st title. Yokozuna Kisenosato and Ozeki Takayasu, both from the same stable, are sidelined from action from opening day due to injuries. Now people have crowded the arena for a full house, including a group of students on this rainy day. We start off the action with Sadanomi and Aoi Yama. It's two apiece in the rivalry between these 31-year-olds in the top Makunouchi division. Sadanomi is a returnee to the top division, back for the first time in four tourneys. Bulgarian Aoi Yama just managed to keep his seat in Makunouchi Dispasho after marking a winning record competing at the very bottom of the Maegashira ranks last tournament. Sadanomi goes in lower, Aoi Yama tries to stay in but has no answer. Aoi Yama unable to use his weight advantage over Sadanomi. Sadanobi doesn't allow Aoyama to do his job whatsoever and grabs his first win. Sadanomi deflects his foe's powerful thrust from the get-go. Goes in, finds that left hand inside grip and moves forward. Sadanomi wins by Yorikiri frontal force out. We now have Okinomi versus Dai Amami. These men are locking horns for the second time. Their first encounter was in November last year, where Okinomi forced out Dayamami. Okinomi slowed down in the second week of action last tourney, marking back-to-back -back makekoshi or losing records this year. Dayamami was placed in his highest personal rank of Maegashira 11. Okinomi goes in with an elbow blast, has that right hand outside grip, but has that single strand only, but that's enough. Okinomi takes the match to go to 1-0. Okinomi shoves his foe with a forearm attack and gets into a firm left hand inside, right hand outside stance. Dayamami digs in his right hand inside but is at an angled stance and is too high. Okinomi wins by Yorikiri or frontal force out. It's been a 2-2 two and two seesaw game between these furious youngsters, Takaki Esho and Hokuto Fuji. They're both now ranked in the lower half of Maegashira for the first time in more than a year. Hokuto Fuji is fired up to climb back up to the upper Maegashira positions. Takaki Esho is trying to get back his brand of sumo after injuring his right foot during the March Basho. Takakesho explodes into Hokuto Fuji. Hokuto Fuji is in danger, but he now recovers. Takakesho is now instead in danger. He's at the edge, but recovers and gets the win. Hokuto Fuji, a little rush to finish Takakesho off there. And Takakesho recovers well, snatches his first win, and fires up the crowd. Looking at the replay, Takakesho advances forward after that explosive tachi eye or initial charge. He's deflected, now gets himself in danger. Hokuto Fuji is eager to finish him off, but in turn gets his attacks deflected now, and his back is again at the edge. Takakesho wins by Oshidashi frontal pushout. We now have Daisho Maru against Kagayaki. Both warriors earned their promotion to the top Makunouchi division in early 2016. Kagayaki has been in the driver's seat for all six bouts here. Daisho Maru produced his first kachikoshi or winning record in half a year with nine wins in March. 
Kagayaki was one victory short of a Kachikoshi winning record last tournament. Kagayaki goes in with double hands, but Daishomaru. It's all Daishomaru from start to finish. Daishomaru prevails, beating Kagayaki for the first time in the top division. Kagayaki goes in with a double hand attack, but Daishomaru deflects the thrust, goes to the side. Daishomaru attacks into the armpit, slides his right hand inside, and wins by Yorikiri frontal force out. It's Yoshikaze now against Chiyomaru. These pusher thrusters from Japan's southwest are going against each other for the fourth time. Chiyomaru from Kagoshima wants to use his plus 40 kilo weight advantage once he gets a hold of speedy Yoshikaze. Yoshikaze, who hails from Oita, regrouped in the second half of the previous journey to finish with four wins in a row. Yoshikaze goes straight on to Chiyomaru. Chiyomaru is off balance and he's tipping toe on the straw bales. And Yoshikaze is the victor. Yoshikaze overcomes the weight difference with his agility for win number one. Yoshikaze clashes straight into his opponent, raises his center of gravity, deflecting Chiyomaru's thrusts. Chiyomaru breaks his balance, has his back to Yoshikaze, tries to recover, but Yoshikaze is right in front of him to push him out. Moving on next to Ryuden against Takara Fuji. Ryuden forced out his foe over the straw bales in their first meeting in January. Ryuden is competing in his highest personal rank of Maegashira 7 now. And Takara Fuji ended up with double-digit losses last tournament, but proved his power on the Mawashi or belt by finishing off with three consecutive wins. It's a powerful shoulder blast by Takara Fuji, getting that left hand inside his favorite grip. He just moves forward and escorts Ryuden out. Ryuden's center of gravity is just too high throughout the entire bout. Takarafuji shows who's in charge and snatches his first win in May. Takarafuji steps in to seek his preferred grip immediately, moves forward and tries to get that right hand outside grip to take control. Ryuden counters with a forearm attack from the right but is too late with no more real estate. We now have Chiyo Shoma facing off with Ikiyoi. It's three apiece in the rivalry here. This is their third match in a row facing off on opening day. Mongolian Chiyo Shoma used his agility over Ikiyoi in January to slap him down with a hatakikomi technique at the edge of the ring. Ikiyoi marked his first double digit record in more than a year in March, fighting in the lower Maegashira ranks. Ikiyo goes inside and maintains a right hand outside grip. They both collapse into the dirt. The referee's fan points toward Chiyo Shoma. Now that close call calls for a judges conference. And the five judges around the perimeter of the dohyo or ring get up on top to discuss how the bout went. Looking at the replay, it seems like, yes, Chiyo Shoma's right elbow touched the dirt first from a different angle. Yes, before Ikioi hit the dirt. And the chief judge is explaining, saying that the fan went towards Chiyo Shoma, but Chiyo Shoma's right elbow touched the dirt first, and Ikioi is handed the win. Ikioi comes out on top after the judges' conference called the reversal of decision on the gyoji or referee. Another replay. A kachiage elbow blast by Ikioi, going straight in, getting that right hand outside grip right there. And Ikioi wins by watenage overarm throw. 
Up next are Koto Shogiku and Shodai. These men, both from southwestern Japan, locking horns for the seventh time. Former Ozeki Koto Shogiku is from Fukuoka, striving to get back his game using his initial charge. Shodai from Kumamoto has also been struggling to deliver. Koto Shogiku slides in his favorite left hand inside. And now tries to extend his right hand for his preferred stance. He moves forward and advances, but Shodai stays in, circling around the dojo. Hits that throw at the edge and gets the come from behind victory. Shodai prevails using his ring sense and grabs his first victory in May. Koto Shogiku goes in lower than Shodai, digs in that left hand inside for his favorite stance. Now when Koto Shogiku advances here, Shodai attempts to break his balance with a beltless arm throw from the left, circles around and attempts another throw for the come from behind win. Shodai wins by Skuinage or beltless arm throw at the edge. It's now a matchup between two fierce pusher thrusters. Chiyo Tairu pushed out Yutakayama in their first Makunoji bout last May. Chiyo Tairu failed to bring out his style of sumo in the previous journey with a disastrous 4-11 record. Yutakayama jumped up eight slots in the official listing of ranks after racking up 10 wins in the top division for the first time in March. A powerful attack by Chiyo Tairu moving forward and finishes it in an instant. Mitakayama is taken into the stands. We hope he's okay and the spectators. Chiyotairu stays on the offensive all the way and goes to 1 0. Chiyotairu clashes into Yutakayama and thrusts furiously forward. Yutakayama stays on the defensive from start to finish and gets shoved into the crowd with an extra push by Chiyo Taidu. It's all Chiyo Taidu from the beginning. Chiyo Taidu wins by Oshidashi, frontal push out. And another pushing battle here between Mitake Umi and Dai Esho. These two both made their top division debut in 2015. Mitake Umi has a 2 0 advantage in the rivalry. He faced emotion to the third highest rank of Komusubi this tournament. Daesho is on a roll this year, punching out nine wins in back to back tournaments. <laughs> Daesho goes in head first, strikes into the neck, but he pulls. Mitakeomi takes advantage of that and says bye bye. A quick win there for Mitakeomi, handling Daesho with good observation and starts out the Basho in a positive note. Daesho tries to go in lower than the Komusubi. But once he pulls, Mitakeomi just sticks to him. Looking at the bird's eye view, both going in very low. But once Daesho pulls back, Mitakeomi sticks to him wins by Oshidashi. It's the first time meeting here for Abi and Ichinojo. 140 kilo Abi is full of confidence with double digit victories in back to back tourneys. Mongolian behemoth Ichinojo packed on an extra 10 kilos. He's now at 225. <laughs> Abi blasts straight in with both guns blazing, but has no real estate at the end. Ichinojo is right in front of him. Abi did all he can, circled around the dojo, but had no space at the end. Immovable, Ichinojo looks confident and secures win number one. 
Abi initiates with a double hand attack, striking into the neck area of Ichinojo. Ichinojo absorbs all the energy, doesn't move an inch. Abi circles around, but Ichinojo stays right in front of him and says goodbye. A highlight bout for day one action. Tochinoshin against Shouhozan. These fighters made their professional debut in March 2006. Locked horns from the lowest division of Jonokuchi. Georgian Tochinoshin is gunning for promotion to the second highest rank of Ozeki. He's eager to prove he can make that leap by producing double digit wins again this Basho and beat higher rankers. Shouhozan takes the better of the Tachiai. He gets both hands inside. Tochinoshin at an angle stands not in a good condition here, only has that single strand of the black Mahashi, but he lifts Shohozan, takes him to the edge again, and snatches the victory. It seems Shohozan was in the driver's seat at the beginning, but the Georgian turned it around with his perseverance and patience. Tochinoshin recovers from a bad position, makes a superb transition for his first victory in May. Good start to the Basho. Shohozan dives in, finds a double hand inside grip. Tochinoshin is taken back, but stays in contention with a single strand of Mawashi with his right hand. Tochinoshin grabs his favorite left hand outside grip now, lifts Shohozan with that outside position, and at the end, marches him out, proving his sheer power and perseverance from a different angle. Using that left hand outside grip, lifting Shohozan to the edge. Unbelievable power here. Shohozan is taking back, but has no answer. Tochinoshin wins by Yorikiri frontal force out. Next, it's Kaise versus Ozeki Goedo. Goedo has an overwhelming 11 to 4 edge in the rivalry. Goedo has been struggling to exert his brand of sumo as an Ozeki this past year. Kaise from Brazil earned his third Fighting Spirit Prize in March for racking up 12 wins. Goedo snuggles into his foe, gets that left hand frontal grip, and that's all he needed to take the match. Goedo kicks off the May tourney in high gear with his speedy initial charge. Goedo snuggles into his foe and snatches the left hand frontal grip immediately. The Ozeki uses that grip to break Kaise's balance with a pulling throw, opens up to the left, and finishes him off. Wins by Yorikiri. We now have Tamawashi challenging Yokozuna Hakuho. Both 33-year-olds are from Mongolia. Hako dominated in their past matchups, taking all 10 meetings since March 2010. Hako is returning to action after taking a full tournament off in March to recuperate from injuries in his big toes. Tamawashi was a frontrunner for making the step up to Ozeki last year, but has given Tochinoshin the lead now. The King of the Ring is looking to snatch his 41st title, his first in half a year. Initiates a slap in the face from the left. Can't get the Mawashi or belt. Kamawashi not going inside. Both having a staring contest now. And now Hakuho just moves forward out of patience. She waited for that window of opportunity, but it wasn't enough. Hako stays in command over Tamawashi, marking his first win since day two of the January Basho. Hako slaps from the left, extends to grab the belt, but Tamawashi thrusts back and prevents that. Both wait for their timing to attack, but have a staring contest. 
Hako opens up for Tamashi to dive in, but runs out of patience to finish him off. From a different angle. A left hand slap and goes in for the belt to get his preferred grip, but Tamawashi says no way. He circles around the doyo trying to slap him down. But now both waiting for that chance to go inside. Hako says come on. But now he moves forward and wins by Oshidashi, frontal push out. It's the final bout of opening day action. Yokozuna Kakuryu takes on the challenge of Mr. Popular Endo. The rivalry favors Kakuryu 6-2. Kakuryu is eyeing his fifth title under his belt after marking his first championship in eight tournaments in March. Endo is competing in the fourth highest rank of Komusubi for the first time. eager to start the bout. They need mutual consent when they start. And here they go again. Kakuryu goes in, takes in Endo and his thrust, but observes Endo well and takes him down. Kakuryu really poised there, takes care of, of the new Komusubi with authority, kicking off this critical basho for his very first back-to-back -back championship. Endo hits and thrusts right after the initial charge to keep a distance from the Yokozuna, but Kakuryu doesn't move back. Kakuryu sticks to Endo, advances forward, then pulls him down. Kakuryu thrusting from down under and Endo trying to pull him down with his technique. But Kakuryu stays right in front and wins by Hiyotoshi hand pull down. And that's all for this broadcast of Grand Sumo Highlights. We hope you enjoyed day one action of the May tournament here in Tokyo. The two Yokozuna and one Ozeki all snatched victories along with Sekiwake Tochinoshin gunning for his Ozeki promotion. Thanks for watching and please join us again for more Doskoi action to come on day two. Well, wherever you are, do take care and gokien yo.